Child prodigies are fascinating to everyone because they outshine adults. Their talents and uniqueness of prodigies did not guard them from devastating circumstances. Some cases are more likely to lead to tragic lives. Welcome to World's Best Videos, we compiled a list of childhood prodigies who led tragic lives. Let's get into it. Aaron Swartz Aaron was an American computer programmer, political organizer, and internet hacktivist at the age of 14. Born in 1986, Aaron proved to be a pivotal player during the early stages of the internet despite still being a teen. Swartz became a key figure in internet activism, often hacking systems so that the information could be public. Hacking into the nonprofit site JSTOR using illegal means, Swartz released 4.8 million documents but was charged by the federal government in 2011. With him facing up to 35 years in prison and a fine of a million dollars, instead of serving the sentence, he hung himself. Close people to him mentioned that he was depressed and had other illnesses which could have been the reasoning too. Robert Peace Robert had a promising future. Growing up, his nickname was a professor. At a senior banquet, Robert met an executive and the executive was so impressed by Robert, he gave him a blank check to pay for all his education. Peace was accepted into Yale where he would study biochemistry. At the same time, he was a big time marijuana dealer amassing over $100,000. Instead of getting a job in something he studied, he continued to deal drugs, eventually getting shot to death in a marijuana greenhouse in 2011 when he was 30. Brandon Bremer Brandon was only a year and a half old when he started to read. At three, he played piano and did first grade work. When he was 10, he graduated high school. At 11, he was in colleges studying to be an anesthesiologist. Unfortunately, in 2005, he was found dead after shooting himself. It is believed that his death was a suicide, but he didn't leave a note and he didn't have any mental issues. Sergi Rinjeko Sergi was two when he learned how to read. He was talented at everything he did. He excelled at mathematics and other sciences and began studying economics at the age of 15. Growing up, his mother was part of a Jehovah's Witness cult and isolated her son from any outsiders. When he left for college was when he was freed from his mother's grasp and began to take drugs. He got really into anime and video games, eventually leading to deep depression and becoming delusional. He thought of himself being a god and jumped out of his window to fall to his death. Well, that concludes the video guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to smack that like button. Let us know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up with the world's best videos.